So it's going to be uh, not comfortable as you head out on the bus stop. But of course, you're used to that. It's August. It's supposed to be like that. You got to wait until what September, October before things start to feel a whole lot better for us. So uh, getting started with your forecasts. Bus stop forecast uh, 6 a.m. Looking at some 80s for you. Pretty much staying the same as you had throughout uh, 7 a.m. and then 8 a.m. So overall, it's uh, not terrible for you. Plenty of sunshine, but I will say it does feel a little muggy outside. Dew points are into the 70s right now, so you can expect that to continue, especially as we get into the next several days. Your heat advisory, though, for everyone. We've seen this graphic over and over all week long probably going to see this for tomorrow as right now this goes until 7 p.m. So temperature is going to feel like 110 could feel all the way up to 110 of that criteria for a heat advisory is when your heat index values get to 108. So it does look like we'll get there indeed. All right, so your temperatures right now as you're heading out the door at 70s and I've got some 80s for you. Galliano looking at 81 degrees 80 over in Homa. So this morning we're not too bad, I would say, but 88 late front guys always the hot spot uh, so don't expect to feel that much better as we get later into the day so highs for today going to stay just below 100 and when I say just below 100 I, I'm saying 98 99 degrees so maybe that one degree makes a difference in how it feels outside but uh, also we could break a record for today so i'm not even talking about potentially breaking records all week but uh, today that can also be the same we do have that uh, record of 97 degrees it looks like we'll get just above that so we'll see what happens once we do get to those afternoon hours all right speaking of the afternoon hours look at that heat index it's going to be well up into the 100s and also as uh, kids getting off the bus stop just know it's going to be very very hot so parents make sure kids do have some water with them or at least drink plenty of water throughout the day at school uh, if they do have to uh, get off the bus a little bit later on for today so getting a check on the tropics here's debbie still right there near south carolina heading up towards north carolina virginia look at all the flood watches and tornado watches and even some tornado warnings that's not surprising at all so here right here is a tornado warning right near greenville for them so very active next uh, couple of days as that continues on up to the northeast and then also tracking something else happening in the tropics as of right now only looking at a 20% chance of seeing some development over the next seven days. So we'll get more information on this one as we are going along uh, throughout the rest of the week on into your weekend as well. All right, so let's break down your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. All right, so today and tomorrow are both uh, warning or alert days for us because yes, your temperatures into the upper 90s. It was looking like we were going to be well into the 100s, but uh, we are looking at triple digits for today as well. And then for Saturday, it's still going to be in the 90s, but it won't feel as bad. And then you do see those rain chances increase once we do get to Monday. So some of us looking forward to some rain, others not looking uh, forward to that at all. Just some heat and your forecast, Asia.